remember standing, or I'm standing, in my studio, in my shop, uh, that used to be a pool table was here. There was a gun rack over there. This was somebody's house at another point in time before we bought this property and built a house across the, 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 the driveway. And this is where I work. Um, and it's worked out very well for me as far as the amount of space. Um, I used to be a university art professor where I had a studio by the university, not this big, uh, but it's been fantastic to produce these boats over the last 30 years. So there's things about constructing, putting together a shop that I had to think about it was, what is it that I'm actually doing? What is my practice? What do I do? And there's a work table across the way where I primarily build. This is a lower table where sales are, are done and also work extends over here. There's a design room back there with drawing tables. There's more machinery off to my right. Um, but it's also machinery that's a smaller scale that I don't really need large table saws. There's smaller band saws that are more appropriate to me. And, and that's stuff that I had to think about, but other people also have to think about in regards to what are they going to use the shop for that wouldn't necessarily be this. These clear stories that are over here, um, on sunny days, that just gets flooded with, nat with natural light, and, and it's great for the machinery um, also. <laughs> it's one reason why that's not <laughs> doesn't have this kind of intense lighting over there, because sunlight does that over there. The, the, the space was pretty much as it is. I haven't like torn down any walls or anything, um, and it was a very open space, so it just seemed very fluid as far as work tables, uh, machinery, and then that room back there that was a bedroom that could be very specifically a design room separate from, but adjacent to that. And, and, a, and a lot of focus work. Um, from one boat to another, the, the shapes are subtle, they're different, um, but, but it really, for me, really needs this space to stay focused on a certain idea. It's not a task, it's an idea and an evolution from one boat to, to another. You know, there's a lot of boats in here, um, and to me, they're my kids. Um, they're also prototypes for designs, me working out ideas and seeing them and, and, and sailing them. And, and I do commissions for boats, um, but these boats for now are not for sale uh, because they're, they're very close to me, um, even though there's a lot of them. <laughs> I, I just, I, th there's frames of reference that these pond boats have that full-size boats don't. It's not that they're any better or not they're any lesser. When these are sailing in a park or an open space, instead of being on the boat and hearing water and, and wind and feeling that on your body, you're looking at something and you're looking through a rectangle, a frame of reference in an urban space. and. It's, it's just a sense of awe that, that I feel, and that's what drives me, and it's why, why there's so many boats in here. It's just, it's about form and looking and enjoying that kind of, and also doing it in a public space where there's other people getting that sensibility also.